All right, let's install the Android SDK. Launch your web browser. And go to developer.android.com. Click on SDK. And you want to download the starter package for your platform. I'm on the Mac, so I'm going to download that one. Carefully read the license agreement. Agree to it. And hit the download button. In my case, that goes straight to the desktop. It'll go to your default download directory, wherever that might be. And also in my case, it automatically unzips itself. So if yours doesn't unzip itself, then uh, double click to expand it, uh, unarchive it. I'm actually going to change the name to make things a little easier. And now we've got the starter package. What we need next are the actual platform, uh, the actual platforms. Since Android has so many different platforms and there's so many different devices that it runs on, they don't bundle everything all together because it would make for a gigantic download that uh, you wouldn't necessarily, you don't necessarily need all of, so they break it into individual pieces. So what I'm going to do is launch the terminal. And if you're not familiar with the terminal, don't worry because we're not going to do uh, too many different things here. I'm going to show you a few commands. Um, when, at least in my case, when I first open the terminal, I am in the my home directory, and I can tell that by typing the ls command to list the contents of the current working directory. So uh, I'm essentially in this directory here. If, if you look at both, you can see desktop downloads movies, desktop downloads da 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 on down the list. If you want this in a little bit uh, desktop space minus L, it shows it in a list format, and it's a little easier to compare the two. You can see desktop, document, downloads, library, etc. So we want to change the directory and go into the, uh, the downloaded downloaded folder, the SDK folder, and you can, if you didn't catch that, you can type a few letters and hit the tab key and it'll auto-complete if it can figure out what you're talking about. If you just did D, then it wouldn't auto-complete because there are two, three directories that start with D. So anyway, hit the tab like that, hit Android like that, and now we're inside the Android directory. All right, so that's basically equivalent in the finder to going from the home screen. It's kind of like double-clicking into there like that. And you can see that the contents are the same. So why don't I just do this in the finder? Well, because I want to start running some commands here. And also, um, you can list invisible files more easily. Not that they're in here. But uh, we're going to now move into the tools directory. And there are variety of tools in here. We're mostly going to be using Android, Emulator, and uh, ADB. And there's some very useful things in here but, uh, other than those, but we're not going to worry about them for the time being. So, all right. So like I was saying, we need to get a couple of these platforms. We don't have them yet. I'm just going to get Android 2.2 so we don't have to wait for a really long download. And the way you do that is by, um, once you're in this tools directory, you type Android and hit enter. And that is going to launch this uh, graphical user interface that is going to allow you to um, download available packages from the, the Google Android repository. So it doesn't matter if that makes sense to you or not, just open this window by typing Android, click on available packages, and check the box next to the SDK platform Android 2.2. If we wanted to build an app that was going to target older platforms, then I'd download those as well. But I'm just going to install selected. And accept, install, and it'll take just a minute for that to download while my dogs bark at the neighbors. Hey, you guys, cut it out. George. So, 
it's interesting. Um, the Android is available on so many different, you know, there's so many versions of the Android operating system, and it runs on so many different uh, devices that each different device has different hardware. Some things have accelerometer, magnometer, um, compass, you know, compass, but some things don't. So um, you need to download the one that's appropriate to the device and platform that you're targeting. And once that's downloaded, we're going to be able to create an emulator that simulates that particular operating system on that particular uh, piece of hardware. So now it's installed. And we can get out of that, and we're not going to need to use that again. 